Hey, everybody. My name's Jason. I run the mobile development teams for Zulily. I'm going to cover a lot of information really quick, so bear with me. got questions at the end. Uh, I'm going to cover a couple of things tonight. First, who Zulily is as a company for anyone who's not familiar with us. They're going to dive into some specifics about our technology organization within that and some principles in which we operate, and then spend some time talking about our app development within that. Zulily is an online retailer obsessed with bringing moms, that's really important, special finds every single day, all at incredible prices. And we've had some success. Uh, we've been fortunate uh, with uh, over $1 billion in annual revenue, and we have not uh, hit our five-year birthday yet. So we've definitely had some success. We're fortunate there. Now, <clears throat> the way we've done this, there's no necessarily uh, secret sauce to this, but there are some key ingredients. And one of the main ones is getting the entire company to buy into one idea, which is who we are at our core. We are a discovery-based shopping model. You come to Zulily because you don't know what you're looking for today. You, you don't come to us looking for something specific. You come to us to window shop. You come to us because hopefully we have a lot of great ideas and great things that you want to check out, but not necessarily one specific thing. At its core, it is all about flash sales. I'm sorry, the joke just had to be made. We have 100 new events. An event is a collection of products that go live every day. Events will last for 72 hours. That's thousands of products that go live at 6 a.m. every single day with discounts at up to 70% off. In Q1 of 2012, 31% of our revenue came from mobile platforms. In Q3 of 2014, I'm incredibly proud to say that 51%, over half of our revenue, came from mobile platforms. We're actually leading in e-commerce with the amount of mobile engagement that we have. It's clear that moms are shopping with us on the go more and more every single day. Our technology org within Zulily operates under some key principles, and there's two that I want to highlight to you today. The first is the concept of fearless innovation. Our leadership and management teams within Zulily obsess about creating a culture where engineers do not fear pushing code. There should never be a barrier between great ideation and execution to millions of customers, and we believe that at our core, and we operate underneath that. This is our pig. Our pig is an example of this. Our pig is awarded. It's a trophy that's awarded to an engineer when something catastrophic happens. You tank the website or you blow up the mobile apps because you pushed a great idea. We celebrate this with a standing ovation from the team. It's displayed proudly at your desk. And we do this because it embraces that we, we celebrate our failures as much as we celebrate our successes. And the second thing is that we move incredibly fast. Again, the barrier from ideation to execution should be minimal. And that includes the time it takes to actually get a great idea to customers. We've had that actually happen in a matter of hours. Native apps within this, that's a little bit interesting. And it's a little bit problematic because native app development is a little bit slower by nature. We believe in native app de development. We believe uh, in the responsive, better feeling nature of it. But development is slow because you have to wait for your app to be approved. So there's some key things I want to talk to you tonight about that allow us to go faster in the native mobile app development world. The first question here is the concept of does app update fatigue actually truly exist? Two or three years ago, the answer to this question was a resounding yes. There's no question about it. Uh, you can update your your app so much that you annoy your customer. Today, though, with mobile operating systems automatically opting users in to app updates, most users are blind to when this is actually happening, so we contend that this is no longer an issue. In fact, we actually have a build of our app ready to go to the App Store every single Friday. We move faster than a Apple can actually approve our apps. The next thing is that we treat our apps like a set of building blocks. We want to push really fast and move really fast, but we don't want to wait for Apple and their approval process. And so we treat our app like a set of building blocks where when it is foregrounded, it downloads a set of instructions on how to assemble itself. How do I present my app in a unique way to the millions of different customers? And it is unique for every single person with our relevancy engines. And so we can maintain fast pushing code, pushing ideas really quickly by pushing these instruction sets to the server, but allow the app to remain responsive and, and feel really good because it's getting everything that it needs ahead of time. We have this other unique problem because at 6 a.m. we have thousands of new products every day. We have tons and tons of app users that hit us every single day at 6 a.m., meaning 
as each app is downloading its set of instructions on what to do, it's a tremendous hit to our servers. So we are, have and are continuing to make investments in background fetch and silent push notifications to take that server hit at 6 a.m. and offload it between 5 and 6 a.m. to actually get the apps everything that they need ahead of time, also solving not only the server hits, but the concept of customers no longer have to wait for spinning loading icons. That was a lot of information in a very short amount of time. Thank you for the opportunity to speak here. Again, I'm Jason. Thank you. I'll throw out one little other anecdote, which is I'm fairly new to Seattle as well. This is my first gig. I moved up from LA. I have a really random backstory. Hit me up about that later. But questions? Up in the back, waving your hand. Hi. How do we start there? <laughs> um, I think the reason is, is that you know, mom is a great consumer, and uh, mom is never finished. Uh, I think we would tell you today, we, while we started at mom's today, it's mom's in every stage of her life before she has kids, while kids are in the house and after they've left, right? So it's really about uh, catering to women. But specifically, we started with moms because really there was a great business there. There's an opportunity that never ends. I mean, part of our genetic makeup is to reproduce our species along. And so moms will continue to be here no matter what we do to screw it up in the process. <laughs> Good question. Thank you very much. What else? Yeah, right here. Yeah. That, that's probably, I love this question. The question was, how do, we, how do we maintain moving really fast without like damaging our brand, right? And like pushing code that may be really, really buggy to, to customers. Um, I think that we have a little bit of grace here because we have this huge repeatable base of customers that comes back to us every day wondering what we have. Um, we are respectful. We don't ever try and push bad code, don't get me wrong. We have great engineers that care about what they do. But we also have sort of maintained this vibe that when you come to Zulily, we hope it is fresh and different, whether it's the app or the website. And so things are changing kind of in presentation underneath you all along. And I think we've kind of established that with our customer. And so if things feel sh a little like they're shifting around underneath you, that's sort of an expectation we have with our customer at this point. It's a good question. Yeah, right here. Yeah, there's, a, there's just a database of new mothers out there, and you can tap into it. No, it's a good question. You guys question. hang out at hospitals? Yeah. And we pass out pamphlets. We actually come into the delivery room. No, um, it's, a great, it's a good question. Um, the, there's no simple answer, unfortunately. There's a ton of different acquisition channels that we have, um, whether that's buying ads and displaying it on, uh, on other, you know, com not competitors, but other, we call it competitors for mom's time, Pinterest, Facebook, other things where our demographic exists. We'll buy ads there, you know, uh, search engine optimization and getting into, into ads there, as well as, um, you know, TV ads we're starting to look at now. So, I mean, you know, a lot of different advertising. We lots and lots and lots of different channels. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure there are. I'm, I'm sure there are. Okay. One more question. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. Yeah, up here. Um, <laughs> there's a lot, so Zulily at its core is a build house. Um, we definitely like to build um, lots and lots of things that cater specifically to us. So there's a lot of proprietary stuff that we have built to maintain it. But I think if I can draw back to this, it's really about the culture that we've kind of created. I think we have maintained an environment where the tech org never holds back the growth, right? So we found this great demographic and this great business model, and really what we did is we created a technology environment that supports that and never ever holds that back. So we, we err on the side of, you know, push great ideas as fast as you can, even if that means it's something that hasn't been tried. And that's not just for the front end, that's also for the, for the back end as well. I think that's all the time we have for questions. One more question. One more question. One more. How about here in the, in the hat?
I love this. I love, I'm such a data person at my core, so I absolutely love this. So we A-B test a lot of things, uh, multivariant tests all throughout our site. Um, some of them are, are unique and they're specific around like core funnel and purchases that we want to make sure are not confounding data in any way, so we isolate those. Um, others are you may be in 15 different tests at the same time because we're just trying out different pieces on, on different things. But it's all about trying to segment out pieces of the population and looking at that versus control. So multivariant testing and, and we house that internally and, and build some tools around that. And a lot of stuff that we have is always being tested. So it's really, really good. Thank you guys so much for having me. Really appreciate it.